Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host, Cause Fade. This is episode 18. We are at the Vault Brachus Rex. Not the Vault. Death awaits beyond this point. <laughs> Death awaits beyond this point. There's a. Uh, We'll handle everything that's outside the maze on the outside. Your inmates have long awaited your return, your highness. Welcome back. Alright, some EXP. We're getting closer to the last level. You're always level 8 when you leave this island. I don't know how being level 9 could even be possible, but... Alright, I'm gonna let Red do the talking here. Ah, as you enter the room, you see three skeletons sitting around a table, cards in hand. They creak and turn to stare at you. A beating heart. Does Brachus need us once more, jailer? Are we finally to be freed? Insist that you're no jailer. You've nothing to do with their imprisonment. You're not one of Brachus's brood. You're not Graciana's pet. Then why do you disturb us? The flesh yearns for our secrets. Did I not say that word would spread by Jesus? Even after the maggots took your tongue, you still talk too much. Silence your jaw. Ask the lizard what he's talking about. You pretend you have never heard of the progeny of Rask? Of the devilish weapons I crafted for Brachus Rex when I called him Lord. Devilish weapons? Ask if he's behind the magistrate. Shriekers. Shriekers? Do not mock me, Flesh. I would never be so crude and inelegant. You mean you'd never create something that effective? Your weapons work by boring people to death. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. My weapons are without equal. They would tear through those crucified beasts like a babe's scream. Ask why they were making weapons. More than mere weapons. Traps, purging wands, war wagons, every tool Brachus needed to bend the world to his will. And the torture chambers. Brachus loved them beauties. Not quite as much as Gratiana did mind. You should have seen her face when she landed us in them. I'll never forget the smile she wore as we died. And our spirits sealed away in those soul jars. Ask if there's any way to free them from their curse. Destroying the soul jars that bind us here. There is no other way. But beware. They are found in a distant treasure vault, guarded by traps of a cunning not seen by your babe's eyes, and... By the horns of Valkyrie, if you design one reasonable trap, and won't shut up about it for centuries. And thine were better. Couldst thou have brought forth such cunning use of life? Oh, well, mine did not constantly disintegrate the laborers building them. The fault was in thine zombies, the worms in your skull follow instruction better than they. Tell them to stop. If they'd worked together instead of arguing, they might have escaped by now. We have spent centuries trying to escape this tower, but our power was too weak. There was no hope of freedom. At least until your gorgeous self opened the door. Now we just need the source from your pretty little corpse. Mm, and then flash an intimidating smile. They think Brachus was bad. They should see your curses. Worse than this? Can such a thing be true? Thou art fortunate. When I still wore scales, I would have cut you down without a thought. But time brings perspective. And perspective brings mercy. You are permitted to live, Vegas. How's about a trade? Our deaths for your life? You walk out of here and leave us your word that you'll destroy our soul jars. Agree to end their suffering. Trusting flesh to do bones work? It seems foolish, but very well. Mark the location thus. And do not disappoint us. All right. Fortunately, we already have all those soul jars. Here, awesome. did I ever tell you of the time I cursed that court eunuch? Find them here they are. Court eunuch to speak only truth and admit admitted pleasing Bacchus's mistress. Yes, you did. 
forgot to add all these words to my feet. About the time I was painting some of my words. And, and so they, uh, the dance macabre. Oh, yes, screen, but they also don't become available when I and the time try to make I my words. Yes. The pictograms on the jar stand fixed and still. Smash it to pieces. Yes. You see a shape emerge from the ruins of the broken jar. A lizard in the finest necromancer robes. It grudgingly nods at you as it starts to fade from the mortal realm. Well, well, flesh. Hey, hey, hey. Farewell. Farewell. What do you got, Nick Nothing. Did I ever tell you Nothing. the time I cursed that court you? The jar stands before you, cold and still. Smash it. A human spirit slips from the ruins of the jar. Decked in necromancer robes, she turns to you, bows, and starts to fade away to nothing. Oh, tiny death. Hey, the key to the door. The jar seems quieter now. It sits still. Smash. The jar shatters like glass, but a spirit rises from the shards like smoke. The ghost of a dwarf, bedecked in necromancer robes, winks and blows you a kiss before slowly fading to nothing. Beautiful. Thank you. My death waits. There you go, necromancer wick. It's all over. All done. Okay, the necromancers are done and we got the key. So you can either get the key fighting. Or you'd smash your soldiers. Now before things get too hairy in here. Not entirely useful. It's gonna be a bunch of money. Worm Tremor skill book. Awesome. I'm gonna be grabbing that. Teleportation scroll. Jar of mind maggots. Legend of the Blood Rose. Legend tells of the most precious rose, the Blood Rose, prized by kings and men from ancient times. The blood rose grows only in soil suffused with suffering and fertilized with filth. In the days of Bracchus Rex, the rose was grown using methods esoteric and vile, the only methods proven to grow the rare blossom. The perfumer Awanel persuaded Bracchus to bury the bones of the tortured dead within a deep cave. He sowed the seeds within their emptied skulls, watered with the tears of the tortured living. In such a soil, the blood rose flourished. The scholars say that even today, were you to find this mythical cavern, the roses would grow there still. And they do, in fact. You'll find that here real soon. Crafting Bible. Bunch of new... Oh. Pick up an rares. Hey! Some bearskin armor. That looks really nice. Send that to uh, Fane. Okay. Yeah, there's some trappy gizmo stuff here. There's a guy in there. I want to look at this. Fane's bag. Summoning? I don't, I don't need summoning, but I certainly can use better armor, so that's great. Fane, yeah, he's got that in there. What's this? 11 to 12 plus 3 initiative. That's going to make him do more damage. So now these old ones. And what are these pants? For Fane? Are those better than the ones you're wearing? Yeah. Alright, Fane, what do you see? Any traps or anything? Oh, painting. This cute one with a little doggy. Oh. 
Recipe, what? Recipe for the cursed poison flask. And then a worm tremor skill book. Awesome. Anything else in this room that needs to be handled? I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Fane, what do you want to do? I think this guy comes out on his own if I do something to trigger it. I'm just not sure what that is. I can't remember. It might be picking this lock. It might be grabbing this money. Mutilated cook. There it is. He's in there. Alright. Fane. Pass your turn. That sets off the trap. It sets off the flaming. That's hardcore. Kill it. Kill it good. I don't want you to move, I just want you to kill it. There we go. Alright. You, what do you got here? Mutilated corpse. Oh yeah, I don't have any how I can find empty potions. Candles on actually does anything, but I'm gonna do it. This game is one of the games where you just never know. I guess not. Among the long crumbled remains of the temple that must have once sheltered his shrine, the stone effigy of a god seems to invite you to put your hands in his. What do we got here? My man, pick it. This door over here opens to a well, which, uh, as far as I can know, as far as I can understand, is nothing but a You approach a decrepit well and stare down into its toothless black mouth. No sooner has your head crossed the rim than weak voices begin to echo from the depths. Thirst, dry throats, drink water, water. All right, something to do with that in the water. I don't have a rain spell or anything, though. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Oh, but I know what to do about that. What is this? Summoning? Give that to Los. Heck yeah. For some reason, this well is something I remember as being unremarkable, so I might come back there later and deal with that. Los, meanwhile, just picked up a piece of hardware. That's nice. Summoning ring for her. Boost her summoning. That's great. And this pendant. 12 magic armor roll, but I want the strength, and this has a slot for her. 
what should I use? Constitution, air resistance, immunity, and stunned. Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. I'll equip that instead. Makes me a little more tank-like. But... Does less damage by one. Hmm. Ten more hit points or... And one less damage? Okay. And I'll take the rune out of this. Maximum man magic armor, 9%. Critical chance, 3%. Hmm. Alright, more maximum more. Does he have a good... Thunder rune? Alright, I want to manage runes there. What happens when you insert... This gets 9 damages, fire damage, water damage... Physical damage. Yeah, I'm gonna add that for the fire damage. Right. Okay, we're done with that garbage. Careful, guys. I've spotted a trap. And there it is. Oh, grab this. Another painting. Antique Lucky find. Box with a bunch of stuff in there. There are a couple of boxes there, and I don't... And then you can go out that grate. But there's no significance to doing so as far as I can remember. I think you have to bless that one, I'm not sure. The air around oh. the glowing relic thrums with power as the source barrier quietly crackles in the background. Focus your source powers on that. The hum of the relic grows louder, and bright light starts to spill from its runes. Cracks start to spread across the surface, and it shatters like glass. And with that, we're through. That was worth some experience. Device? Oh, chain lightning. Send that to Los. One of your first things you can get out of it. Source powers you can get out of it. There's the hands of the tyrant. Artifacts of the tyrant. Where is that? Where's the pistol? Why can't I see it? Burning rings, big bomb, I don't know, the color shriekers, tails people. Can Encyclopedia is worth 25 gold. Oh, nice. Here we go. Magic telekinesis. Ooh. They're way better than the gloves I'm wearing, so I'm going to equip those. This is really. Let's hope for a good staff for the Red Prince. Oh, I can't identify it. I don't have enough. I don't have enough Lord Master? Yeah, Lord Master levels. Okay. That's the disadvantage, but I'm rolling with Lucky Charm instead of the Lore Master stuff, so. There are five civil abilities that are pretty awesome, and you only got four characters. It's only so much. Alright. So do I have all of the pieces of the Tyrant? Tyrant Stride the hands, the chest, and the helm. I believe that is all the pieces. What is this? Decomposing Terror Master's Belt. I should put that here now. I want somebody to take that. Alright. See if we can put this stuff on. Save it. These five pieces. Uh, it's been. Uh, it's been. Uh, it's been. Uh, it's been cursed. 
Ah, the armor set is complete and you get purge, which you kind of have to be careful with it. <laughs> so that helps him out. Um, it's not the best set of armor in the world. By the time you get it, you kind of have some better stuff. For instance, these gloves. Oh, that one's the hands of the tire add to 200, so that's good. For a chest piece, what I was wearing had three more physical armor and four more, three more magical armor. But it, that his adds to warfare, so that's good. Um, gonna manage the runes. I'm gonna insert a rune here because this adds maximum physical armor, nine percent. So that helps. The hands of the tyrant, and yeah, we're just looking at telekinesis. The helmet, uh, strength, and arrow forge for basically the same thing, but we don't get purged with this. So, and the boots uh, are better. So it's it's all really really minor upgrades compared to what I had on, which is usually what happens to the way the game goes when people by the time they get these tyrant the full set, uh, it's it's a minor upgrade or not an upgrade at all. They could make these just a little bit better. And part of the problem is later on in the game, what's going to happen is you're going to get better armor, and you're not going to want to upgrade it because if you upgrade one piece the whole thing is cursed so you want to wait to upgrade until you have all five pieces better than the tyrant set alright let's get out of here I don't think there's any sense in doing any of this stuff over here but I could be wrong you come over here Send that to Los. Losa. What's Losa get then? This is a dual wielding. I'd rather have her have plus two intelligence, so we'll keep that. But I do want to see what else is in this box. Nothing. Tab key shows nothing. All right, we're out of here. No, no, don't close the door. Just walk through. Ding bat. Oh, if you go through that grate, you can skip the rest of the maze, but we don't want to skip the rest of the maze. Alright, and I want that source. So on the outskirts of this building here, this Kremlin Castle, if you go all the way around over here, human skeleton with that and you need these crumbling skulls these crumbling skulls um, each crumbling skull will disappear and it will open a locked door in this maze over here um, and then around this other end here there are a couple of boxes and sometimes they have stuff in them and sometimes they don't it seems like so that time they didn't but we got the crumbling skull so that's good so here's the maze proper for instance, this door is locked, and if you want to use a crumbling skull, you can go through it. Now, whenever you see these little things right here, these tables, that means there's something in here that you can do that'll cause a crumbling skull to appear on the table. I'm going to save that for next episode, getting through this maze, because what I really want to do is get through this maze and get over here and do this fight here. It's worth some experience. And as always, I'm just trying to grab as much experience as I can. We are currently 7,000 away from level 8, which is great. Level 8 is what you want to be to get off the island. It's fabulous. So, folks, thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoy the content, subscribe to my channel. And if you leave a question or comment, I will answer it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.